Hello, and welcome to What's Bubbling at Zim. I'm Inventor Dan Zen, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a closer look at Zim Zap. So let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. We'll press on code, and we'll scroll down past the template, past the help, and arrive at the tools. So there's Zim Zap. Let me press that. The idea behind ZimZap is you can share code with other people. So that's ideal for a teacher. They can share the code that they're working on in class. The students can come to a URL and collect the code. So the teacher or the originator would put in an ID. For instance, we'll share the gesture code that we were just working on. And then here's where we'll enter the code. So let's go find some code. Let's reduce that a little. Here's uh, the Jim, <laughs> hello Jim, the Zim gesture that we were working on uh, in the last bubbling. So we'll copy that. And we come back in here and we paste the code here. There we go. So if we take a look, there's the code copied in there, like so. And then we submit. And it says the zap URL will be zimjs.com slash zap slash gesture. Can you see that okay? Bigger. Whoops, scroll in the wrong place. Slash gesture. There's also an edit URL, so you, the editor, can come back and, and get this code like uh, at this URL. Uh, but nobody else has that URL in, in theory, I suppose. If you wanted to share this to edit with people, you could. And that's one of the things with code share, it was set up to automatically allow anybody to change the file. For instance, there's other code sharing as well. Code pen, no. Well, sort of. Anyway, uh, we used to always have the problem where the students would, since they could edit the code, first of all, they could play around you know, with it, change it if they wanted, and that could, could lead to trouble. It usually didn't, because students aren't all that malicious. But what would happen is they would cut the code by accident. So they'd go to get it, and you know, every second time we'd share something, it would get cut. And so it became this running joke, you know, who cut the code share? <laughs> I always remind them, it's up on code share, remember not to cut it, <laughs> copy it. So um, in the end, I just decided to build build our own. So this, this one's here at Zim. And in other words, if you click there, you would end up, uh, so this is zimjs.com slash zap slash gesture. And then you come here and we'll copy this code. Copy. And we can open it up in an editor. So oh, there's the real thing, but file, new file. And we will paste. Let's just make sure it works. And we have to save this file as something. So file, save as code slash gesture test.html.html and then I'll open it up in a browser. And there it is. There's our gesture code working just fine. Gesture test. Okay, that's excellent. So that is um, ZimZap. And if you wanted to delete that, you would have to you can come in here and you can delete that code. I'll leave it up for you. So you're welcome to go to zap slash gesture. And you should be able to find that uh, sitting there and you can check out the gesture code. Ciao from what's bubbling at Zim. I'm inventor Dan Zen at zimjazz.com. Have a great day.